Right, we're now talking to Chris Wild Goose and uh, Benjamin Reed. Uh-huh. And we've got um, a, a new comic coming out called Parsley and Gothic Fairy Tale, and I've got a tremendous sense of deja vu about all this. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll happily recap my testimony. Yeah, awesome. uh, so, uh, it is, as it says, as it says, right on the tin of a gothic fairy tale. Uh, it's uh, a, 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 an all ages tale, yet with some very dark undercurrents. Uh, it's the story of a child, an urchin, in a Victorian esque, so slightly magical society, who uh, climbs the walls of a forbidden garden and what she finds within. Um, the porcelain in the title are the um, uh, the beautiful automata uh, made by the uh, the owner of the garden, uh, a rather impressive gentleman. Uh, we know, we come to know as Uncle. Um, story their time together. Yes. The graphic, the, what you see here is a promo copy we're giving away free, free at Full Bubble and through various retailers. And then the uh, graphic novel itself will be out in February. And um, available for order at a comic shop near you. And you, you've done you've done the artwork. What, what were your artistic in, you know inspirations behind behind it? For the oh, arts? Uh, I mean, I'm a massive fan of like Sarah Bertelli and uh, uh, like Phil Notto and just. Anyone who can ink very, very beautifully, really. Um, and yeah, they've been sort of my main influences through this whole thing, really. Mainly Sarah Vitelli, because she just handles her inks so, so well. Uh, um, yeah, just uh, Sean Phillips. Not Sean Phillips. Sean Murphy. Uh, yeah, his stuff has just blown me away. So I'm just, I'm constantly having them on my table while I'm drawing and just looking at how it's done and then trying to bring it over and stuff. So. We've um, seen a lot of resurgence in sort of like fairy tales being mixed in with you know a lot of the new television shows. You know we've got things like Once Upon a Time and yeah. Grimm and I mean they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're uh, stories, aren't they? They're, they're the roots of basically all our literature, that oral tradition that's gone on into everything else. And they're, they're, I mean they're, they're stories that will never ever leave our society. I don't think. I mean in this there's there's absolutely uh, a, a broad hint of Bluebeard. There's a door that shouldn't be opened. There's a little bit of um, Oscar Wilde's Selfish Giant. There's a, there's a, the, the, you know, the Forbidden Garden, which is quite often a symbol in, in this kind of literature. So yeah, they're, they're the things we, they're the building blocks of all the stories, I think. But, uh, I'm quite happy to use them again. So when, when are you expecting to maybe have the um, actual issue one out? The, well, it's going to go straight to a sort of original graphic novel. So um, <laughs> the full book will be out in February through, um, uh, for a retailing near you. Oh, that sounds, sounds great. You know, sounds yep. like a ring or book. Thank uh, thanks a lot for your time. Right, thank you. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Thank yeah, you very much.